Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. I am going to read you a book today. But guess what we're going to do when we read a book? Of course, we're going to listen. But we're going to play a game. Remember yesterday we learned these vocabulary words? Well, in just a minute, we're going to review them. But what we're going to do is when I read you a book, not only do I want you to listen, is whenever you hear one of these special words that we did yesterday in the book, I want you to raise your hand. Now, I will not be able to see you sitting there listening to me read the book, raising your hand whenever you hear a special vocabulary word. So if your family is there with you and they can record you, that would be great. And then you can send it to us. But that's only if they're able to record you, raising your hand whenever you hear one of these special words we are about to review. So are you ready to review our words so we could remember it? So when we listen to the book, when we hear it, we raise our hands? Great. All right. So let's review this word. You guys remember what this is? Look at the picture. If you don't, that's right. It's soil. Everyone say soil. And remember what soil is. Soil is the dirt in which a plant grows in. It has the nutrients in it. And when it gets water, it mixes together with the nutrients. And the seed can begin to drink it so it can grow. Soil. Remember when you hear the word soil in the book, you got to raise your hand. What's this one? Excellent, my friends. Roots. What do the roots do? That's right, the roots take in the water and the nutrients and bring it up into the plant. So say roots. So whenever I say the word roots in the book, raise hands. Roots, you got it. All right, stem, there it is. Say stem. What does a stem do? Remember, it carries the water to the leaves from the roots. Isn't the stem beautiful on this sunflower? What's this one, my friends? Leaves. Remember, the leaves are attached to the stem. They are usually green and flat. Remember, the leaves are what usually makes the plant, the food for our plant. Remember, it takes in carbon dioxide and water to make it sugar. Hmm, the leaves on the tree look so pretty today. See, I'm testing you now. All right. Sunlight. What does the sunlight do? That's right, my friends. It gives energy from the sun to the plant to make its own food. And you guys know this one. That's right, it's water. The plant is getting its water. Oh, I used the word water in a sentence. All right, so we ready for today's book? Okay, here we go. Today's book is called Max plants a seed. Today, Max plants a seed. He plants a sunflower seed. Get ready. When you hear these words, you're going to raise your hand. How will it grow? Hmm. Let's see. How will it grow? Max plants a seed where it will get lots of sunlight. <gasps> Did you guys just raise your hand when you heard the word sunlight? Excellent, my friends. Very good. He waters it. I see those hands go up when I said the word water. Waters. Same thing. Great, guys, raising your hand when you heard the word sunlight and water. Let's continue. The seeds soak up water. Roots 
start to grow out of the seed. Do you see the roots? There it is. Then a stem grows out of the seed. That this all happens under the soil. I see those hands going up. I hope the stem comes out of the soil 11 days after Max plants it. The stem is tiny. Wow, that was a few times we had to raise our hand on this page. Do you see the stem? It's coming up. It's drinking the water and the nutrients from the soil, and it's going into hair. What do you think will happen? Let's find out. The stem grows taller, it starts to grow leaves. There you go. Guys, just raised your hand a few times there. Now look what's happening. A flower grows on the top. The flower makes hundreds of seeds. Do you see inside here all the little seeds it's making? Max collects the seeds. What do you think Max is going to do with the seeds? He will plant the seeds again next year. So when he plants the seeds, what will he have? That's right, he's gonna have another sunflower. What seeds would you like to plant? So, since I cannot hear your answers, guess what Miss Lori's gonna ask you to do? That's right, you're gonna draw your pictures of what seeds you would like to plant. And if you would like to draw an apple plant, you could draw a picture of an apple, a small seed, and then you could draw an apple and write an apple. If you would like to draw, because remember, plants are also fruits and vegetables. If you would like to draw a sunflower, just like Max planted, why don't you draw a small sunflower seed? Right? The sunflower seed is small and gray, like that. And then you could draw a sunflower, and you could write the name of the plant that you want to grow, and guess what? That's right, you gotta email us your wonderful pictures of what plant you would like to grow. And if you took videos of our game while reading the story and you heard one of our vocabulary words raising your hand, please send us a video of that as well. So for now guys, go watch the rest of your videos, enjoy your day, I miss you all, and we'll see you later. Bye my friends.